And here the day has started, the dawn of another adventure. We say goodbye to the Bird Island and we head over to the Buffalo region. Oh, it's quite a large region. Well, potentially a large region. We'll find out whether I have a ridiculous amount of things to explore or not. I can see a broken vessel over there, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go and check out this ship. We've got all day. I've got a sleeping bag, so I can always uh, sleep wherever I want. And the canoe's actually got a uh, bed on it too. How did you get up there? Storm must have been brutal. Okay. Was this the ship that we were on that went and uh, fell apart? I mean, we, well, I know I've been here 70 days, but um, these guys are pretty desiccated. Cut down the scrap, and we get sticks. That's a full boat. Why can't I get planks? Oh my goodness. Anchor. Metal. Give me the metal. <laughs> Everything's just uh, not quite what you would expect, really. Still better than uh, nothing. Captain's key. Requires captain key to the captain's quarters, which I don't have. Uh, are you going to have it? No. Calendrum by Regia Montanus. What are you going to give me? Sailing effects. Oh, that sounds alright. Oh, wow. He got shot in the head. You poor bugger. Up, 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 up. Cannon. Oh, hang on. Barrel of an old cannon. Alright, so we got a cannon. Can we, like, repair a spot with it? Or what's the deal with uh, carrying a cannon around? But we'll keep in mind the fact that it's here. Because that looks useful. Use iron rod to unlock. Potential that it's hiding under the scrap. I mean, maybe. Oh, hello. Iron rod. Yeah. We're on. Take that. All right, where's this key? There's no random critters in here waiting to jump out at me. Don't really want an improved torch. Oh. Ah. Ooh, hello, gunpowder. <laughs> okay, what else we got? We have a cannonball. Next fun part is to blow apart the wall. You can obviously tell what's about to happen. Come with me. Ooh. Maybe. The stairs are a bit funny on this game. Plonk that on there. Place the powder. Place the cannonball. A burning torch is required. Well, funnily enough. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> Doing it a bit tentatively here. I suppose you don't really want to stand behind the cannon. Boom. Okay. Ooh, there's the key. Key to the captain's quarters. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, it's been a while since we've been here. Hey, these guys were in the cabin. That's the uh, window we went out of. What were you guys doing in here, huh? Marine binoculars. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have those. Okay, logbook. Captain of Santa Maria and his mate are killed. It looks like the killer took them by surprise. But who, who could have done such a thing? And most importantly, why? On the table, there is the Santa Maria's logbook, stained with blood. Apparently, the killer looked into it. I must examine it at once. Um, shipwrecked on the rocks, part of the crew survived. Sending signals daily. Yep, fair enough. First mate told me that their supplies are ruined by seawater. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, in the end, the cannon could not withstand the frequent firing and broke. That, what would actually be quite an interesting touch is if they'd actually made that um, while you were on the first island, you could hear the occasional cannon fire to give you a, an indication that there was actually someone alive. Maybe like once a day, well, did you say daily? Yeah, once a day you could hear it until uh, it stopped maybe after like the first five days. Can I take anything else? Can I take your stuff? You got shot in the head. You seem to be missing your, uh... Oh, okay. The shot to the chest, apparently. And you were shot in the head. 
Very well. All right, here we are over here. I'm thinking we might as well go to our first island down to the bottom right. And we'll see if that is Copper Island. Ooh, it's a mapping tree. Yeah. Is that part of the same island? Yes, it is. All right, we're going there. Okay, we got brambles. We got new trees. We got new plants. Oh, we got sheep. No, they're the bulls. Right. Oh, buffalo. That's right. Yeah, the um, symbol for. What's that noise? The uh, the symbol that I saw on the first island. I thought it was a buffalo. Sorry, a bull. But it turns out it was a buffalo. My goodness. Vicious little things. Uh, what's going on here? Heat. Dive into the sea, stay shady. Uh, getting too hot. Okay, well, let's go and get into the shade. Ow! Rotten thing. I think my spear broke. Oh, that rotten thing. Okay, we've got broad leaves, which is handy. And I just saw something, and it was... There it is there. Oh, hello. Look at you. Gotcha. We have spider. Uh, it can be used in the powder of snakes and spiders, which cures degrees. Four disease degrees. Wow. That's actually really bloody good, but I need the advanced chemistry workbench, which I'm still working on. Anona. Oh, that's some really nice food and water. Doesn't seem to be used in anything, so that's fine. But we can eat that. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're gonna get all of that. What's that? Is that a nest? Come on, termite mound. Ah, right. It's gonna be a regenerative source of clay. Shovel. I don't think I brought a shovel. Oh, you rotten game. Why did you make me th forget about a shovel? Oh, look at that wonderful view. So we have buffaloes to kill. We have termite mounds to harvest. It looks like there's something over there that we have to look at. Another mapping tree. There's a fascinating canyon in there, which is obviously where we're probably going to find our copper resource. My goodness, this island, eh? There's actually just about everything that I need here. I mean, we've got the liana, the long sticks. I can't see any big branches, which is a bit of a shame. We've got pineapples. But apparently, I didn't map as much as I thought I would. Which means I definitely need to go over to that other tree. A cannonball tree. Oh, I needed that. Yeah, there, let's go. Probably going to need to set up an outpost here on Copper Island. Cannonball tree. Uh, 24 minutes, 50 durability, yeah, that's pretty good. Boom, we caught the strong branches. We can now upgrade our stuff back at the other place. Really good on food and water, has a blueprint. Ooh, it's used in medicine. Uh, treatment of overheating. Well, this island seems to require that, so that's really good. It's slightly overheating, oh, that's not good. Let's get in some shade. Formic acid, okay. Wow. I can make them, but I don't have my outpost to make them. And the only way to make them is to cut down trees, and I don't want to cut down trees to make a base. Which sucks. We can use that for something good, I'm sure. It's not a rottable resource. It can be used to make alcohol. Oh my goodness, that's actually exactly what we want. So now we need cactus. Well, given that we're in the desert, surely we're going to find cactus. Alright, let's go. We might as well explore as much as we can while we're here and we'll consider setting up a forward operating base at some point in time. It's not water. Oh, big branch. Oh, hello. I see ya. Come on, I got a spear now. Still got here. A piece of pyrite. Pyrite, that's um. Iron Pyrite would be Fool's Gold, right? What is a Pyrite going to do for me? Regular workbench too! Nice, it's the next version of a fire lighter. Which would 
great. Is it worth going back to base to pick up some stuff so I can build a forward base here and I can read that book? I almost feel like it's worthwhile, right? Okay, well, let's do it. Oh wow, that's gonna hurt me a lot. Ouch. <laughs> Apparently I'm not doing that. It needs a mortar and a chemistry bench. Oh my goodness. I have to set up a full base on this side of the bloody world. That one to that one. Yep, we're going. We're going to be hurting when we get there, but we've got to do it. Wow, totally unprepared for the heat. Fatal dehydration. Okay, <laughs> not fatally dehydrated anymore. Oh, it carried the status of the soaked across, even though it was a 10 hour trip to get back. We've got a mortar and pestle. We need three bucks. Very good. Treatment formic acid. And this will cure one rank, chance to get rid of 12. And it has a treatment of 12 hours. A little bit of health regen. <laughs> oh, sunstrike's gone. I mean, I'm still in a bad state, but it's an, it's not terrible now. We have to replenish all my water stocks. We're going to have to replenish all my goods. I'm going to need to go and farm up a bunch of trees. I need to build a base on the other side. And we need to rebuild all of this stuff. It's just ridiculous. Um, why can't it be simple? Uh, why can't I just have like a little bed base on the other side to collect materials and bring back here? That would be so much better. But, uh, you just, I guess you just have to deal with it. I've got all my good stuff here. I thought this was going to be my base of operations. Alright, not perfect, but we have a bunch of stuff. Let's go. Alright, we're just going to check this out. I mean, that's where we were before. Um, but, now that I'm back here, uh, I spied this because it had the palm trees just as I was uh, coming through. And I mean, I can kind of see it with that northern island over there it's very tropical and i'm wondering uh, this little isolated little island here this looks just wonderful and i mean depending on whether the heat actually hits hard uh, i do need to rest for the night so we're going to get it for daylight strangely enough i left just before dark and when i arrived it was just before dark so um the 10 hours that it said that it was going to travel didn't really relate into real time so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that but that's by the way I'm gonna build on this island I think because um as much as a little bit weird it is kind of essential and so if I build my little home base here I can travel to the various islands we've got the copper island here we can travel around and we can pick up all the resources we want and we can always come back to this island it's got trees as well which means I can cut down some of these trees I can get flint not flint um, some fire starters from them and things like that actually some urchins and uh, starfish here too which there's a bit of food a bit of everything and if it's not as hot as that island if the daytime is cool this is the perfect place to recover I can build a secondary base here seeing as I need to bloody do it <laughs> kind of annoyed that I have to do it but uh, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna build a secondary base I'm gonna build a bit of everything here like a stage one everything on this island uh, my character is not happy but that's fine uh, we're full health we're just terrible on water and stuff and hopefully once we actually get this going we're going to be good and one of the things that i did actually notice right uh if we have a look at the map now uh, we're going to go all the way out the buffalo region it says that it has obsidian and that's probably the key part right we've got a renewable source of clay uh, eventually we're going to find copper hopefully a renewable source of copper and we have obsidian here now the question will be whether it's a renewable source of obsidian whereas back here it was stone clay and obsidian i've already found a renewable stone source here um, the buffalo region is already a better main base area than where i was which really kind of yeah, drags it down just a little bit i really kind of wanted that to be my main base and do trips and come back to it but it's looking like a full-blown another map we're going to be doing the same level of investigative work and uh go from there okay and we have achieved the house buff there you have it bam we have a safe spot on the island 
Well, there we go. We definitely need to do some mapping though. Well, I think I'll call it there and I guess I'll leave some of my final thoughts on what's going on. So I need to do a bit of soul searching about how I am going to set up this new base. Uh, obviously, with the previous base, I'd had wanted it to be my main base. It was going to have all my upgraded workbenches. I was going to come here, I was going to get all the gear and the items and take them back and upgrade everything to the next tier and craft all my stuff back at my main base. But the travel back and forth is just way too much. And so you end up having this situation where I now need a second base and I will potentially need to upgrade all of the workbenches here instead of back at what was originally my main base. Because I want to be able to stay in this region to enjoy the good stuff while I'm here. But then later on, I may actually leave this region and not have much reason to come back. I may only come back here just to harvest some of the clay and the copper resources to take back to the main base. Um, but I don't know what that's going to be like in the future. But at least for now, there's so much stuff here with the uh, four, well, I guess it's three islands, uh, if you, four if you include the ship. But with all that content that's here, I'm actually going to be here for quite a while. So I want a proper base of operations so that I can actually set everything up. And so it means that um, it needs some kind of a way of almost as if you actually took the crafting benches themselves and instead of dismantling them and actually having a, a loss of items because you don't always get everything back when you dismantle something uh, being able to pack up a uh, workbench and maybe put it in the box or it can actually set on the boat and that way you could bring one workbench over at a time or pack up a couple of them into the box and bring them over and that way you can actually move your base of operations to somewhere else and actually have there and actually have a little bit more of a nomadic mobile base scenario which would actually be quite nice or even actually upgrade the boat and actually have it more of a catamaran and actually have some of the crafting on the boat itself and that would also satisfy the requirements uh, maybe that's coming i don't really know uh, but yeah that's kind of where my thoughts are with it and the fact that the map is turning out to be so large the game has that little bit more of a slower feel uh, I would like to be able to probably follow through with a, a few more videos, but I may end up backing off a little bit as I do want to start doing some more videos on other things. And this game is obviously, um, it's got a lot of uh, legs to it. And uh, there's some changes coming up soon. They're looking at one of the new regions being implemented. So they haven't actually implemented all the regions. So there's a lot of stuff coming. Uh, and that just means that this game is way bigger than I originally thought. And that's, it's a good thing, but yeah. I had ideas for other videos that I wanted to put into the mix. So I may end up playing a fair bit of this just in my own time. Uh, but, you know, let me know down in the comments what you think, whether you'd like me to continue trying out to show off the story or whether you'd just like to see some other things. Thanks for listening in. I'll catch you in the next one.